matter the size of the impact gun you have, they'll always meet their bolt that's a match for them that they struggle to get off. Luckily, they have a thing called weighted sockets. So today, we're going to experiment around with those, kind of make up our own version of a weighted socket adapter. Let me show you. Instead of a weighted socket, an actual weighted extension. So if you don't know what a weighted socket is, essentially, it's just a socket with mass added to it. Uh, there's a couple different designs. I'll show you pictures right here. Essentially, it's just adding more mass to this. So this is a hammer rotating in a circle. So, you know, a regular socket, if a regular socket is this hammer hammering the bolt around, a weighted socket is a mini sledgehammer way, you know, moving it around. Obviously, when this whacks it, it's going to have greater force than this. Now, there's lots of tests out there that show, you know, you can get up to like a 50% increase in torque, you know, out of a weighted socket versus not. They don't come in all sizes is a problem. Um, generally, they're for, the most common is like the Honda uh, crankshaft bolt is the number one use for them, but they only come in like maybe five different sizes. But you run into an issue where essentially it has mass to it and you know it might be too big to fit in most areas so nobody is making a full set of them but what about if we just had an extension that actually added mass we added that flywheel to the extension so we could add it to all of our existing sockets and use it yes an extension you know my research shows i've looked up quite a bit of stuff that an extension you know this short you lose about 10 percent of your torque but if we can gain 40% on top of that, it'll be a win-win. We can use it with all of our sockets. You can use some of your little teeny impacts to get off stuff that you normally wouldn't be able to. So let's go about my idea. So the design of the weighted socket I like the most is this one. Um, I like that they put almost like a flywheel out and surrounding it, you know, because actually the further out the weight, the less weight you have to have the better it carries around. So essentially, I just I have quarter inch. This is three eighths, which is about a centimeter thick. Three eighths is a centimeter thick. So I'm gonna use that. Maybe it's too much. There has to be a point where you're swinging something so heavy that it actually hurts it. And I don't know what that point is. I guess just trial and error. So essentially all I'm gonna do is cut out a circle, cut out a circle in the middle, make a donut. And I'm just going to insert this through and just weld it right to this socket or right to this extension, this little um, three inch extension. There we go. Now let's uh, cut out the outside. My old Coke bottle, just some magnets in it. It's still my favorite uh, metal shaving cleanup tool. I guess I'm just curious what this weighs. About 11 ounces, uh, which is about 326 grams. So I got this spaced up. I think that's about where I want it. It's not that crucial. Okay, these three bolts right here, I tighten the Dickens out of with this huge Ingersoll um, three quarter inch impact. And so as it sits, is that, it's a three quarter, I reduce it down to at least a half. Um, it will not, this will not, this mid torque DeWalt will not remove any one of them. they're on there tight so if we take this we take that put this on 
Let me go for it. We'll do it. So that's just flexing and just causing a lot of heat in the metal. It could be, it might have been better to put the weight down closer to the socket. I don't know. I didn't really want to use this long extension, but I couldn't, I don't have any super stubby extensions laying around. So I'm going to make my own. I'm going to trim that off. I'll leave this weld on the back. Just trim it off. And then I'm going to weld the, uh, the male section socket you know, the half inch just down against it. So it's just a really short stubby. And then we'll try it again. I just chamfered it a little bit and then left a little nipple just to fall into that center hole, just so we can line it up. Way easier when we weld it. It'll be nice and stubby. Just keep your eye down here. Okay, now we'll just take the adapter out and we'll see if it goes tighter. Yeah, so this is a, uh, a big fail. Okay, rendition three. I've decided to dish out. Maybe I have too much weight. Um, maybe I just need weight out there and too much weight in the center is creating too much mass for it to start twisting. I don't know. So this weighs in right now, since I've lightened it up at a um, little over 10 ounces, just barely, we're about 300 grams. So we're gonna see how tight we can get it with it, and then we'll take it off and see if without it, if it tightens more. Very scientific, very. So. Oops. Yeah. Without it. And it's moving. So that's better that I lightened it up. It's actually working better than it was before. So maybe I just went way too heavy. I guess the next step is, I guess I'm gonna try to um, drill a bunch of holes in here. Just leave some webbing and we'll go from there. So let's try again. There we go. Lightened up the center even more. Now it's about nine ounces or 260 grams or so. So we'll try that. It's starting to look fancy now. Nope, still tighter. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Is it just is it just an utter fail? Probably. Um, you just lose too much by having adapters. By this being an adapter, you just lose way too much torque out of it. Um, I don't know. I know that the weighted sockets. If I hadn't if I hadn't seen those tested on YouTube with actual meters and stuff like that, I wouldn't have believed it. But I can't get this to put out more torque. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you think? How do you guys think I should change it? You know, you just don't know unless you try and you fail and you try again, you fail again. So 
we can put this one to rest for now unless you guys have something to add to it. Yes, I know that you can just actually weld another pipe or something over socket and that actually works. Or why not just buy the socket? Because you can buy the Ingersoll that have this little halo thing on it. They're $70 a piece. And um, there's 10 different sizes, so you'd be into it, you know, $700, $1,000 to have all the sizes they have. And that's not even all the sizes of sockets there are. They only, they start at like three quarter inch and go up to maybe an inch and an eighth. So maybe, maybe not even that. They might not even have like the size for this if I needed it. Um, and metric, I think they go from 17 to 21, something like that, 22. Uh, I'll put a link below where you guys can look at those. But they're expensive. And, you know, for a socket you would never use where if you had an adapter, you could just stab it on any socket, you know, if you're using a little teeny 12 volt impact and you're trying to get off a, you know, a 5 8 bolt or something else like that and it doesn't work and you throw this on there, would have been nice, but it doesn't work. It's a failure. Um, tell me what you guys think we could add to this to maybe make it work. I'd love to do a, an update on this video and make something like this work. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Bye.